from BSN 111H and today I am going to show you how to demonstrate or how to obtain the vital signs of a patient. Now you might ask how important is obtaining the vital signs of a patient? Well, the vital signs are used by healthcare professionals to identify or track medical issues of their clients. So there are um, process of getting the vital signs and I will show that to you later and also um, vital signs can be measured in hospital in at home rather um, in emergency medical situations or any other places now in this demonstration I am going to show you how to assess or how to get the temperature th through um, how to get the temperature of my client or or for the client through oral method, auxiliary method, the peripheral pulse of the client, the respiration of the client, and the last one for the blood pressure. So there are five. Okay, prior to performing the procedure, ex um, introduce rather your name first to the client, verify the client's identity, and explain to her the further procedure and on how on how he, he or she can participate okay so after that um, perform a hand hygiene this is very important because um it makes sure that our or in assessing the assessment or the in assessing the temperature of the client um what we did was um in a clean or in a clean manner Okay, after that, um, provides a privacy just by closing the door or any other windows if there is any. And after that, um, make sure that the equipments to be used are um, complete and clean. And after also using the equipments that you are going to use, make sure to clean it with an alcohol and rubbing from um less clean i uh, from clean yes to less clean okay hi ma'am my name is pia gwenny colorculus and today i am going to get your temperature in your mouth um, that is called an oral temperature or oral method so can you state your name for my name is john victoria olivar um, your age po? 14 years old. Okay, your date of birth. Um, date of birth? February 27. Okay, thank you very much po ma'am. So, now what I want you to do ma'am is um, just follow what I want you to do so that um, the procedure or, or the things that we're gonna do will be easy. And also, I'll just put the digital thermometer on your mouth and you just hold it okay sure now perform a hand hygiene make sure to clean the digital thermometer from its steam to its thermometer sensor okay Now, close the doors or provide client privacy to ensure um, the safety of the client or to get the awkwardness of the nurse and to the client. After that, so I'll just put or I'll just turn on the digital thermometer and put it to either to the frenulum of my patient or to the thumb or the under the thumb of my patient. Can you open your mouth, mom? Um, can you up your thumb and down? Okay, just hold it po. Wait for an appropriate time and the digital thermometer indicates um, the completeness of the reading just by tone and the light in the digital thermometer. 
Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Open your mouth. Thank you. So, clean the thermometer from stem to digital thermometer sensor. Discard the paper. Now, record the oral temperature. So, okay, ma'am, your oral temperature po is 36.6 degrees Celsius. This means that um, your oral temperature is above normal. We have to remember that the oral temperature from range, the normal um, oral temperature ranges from 36.1 degrees Celsius to 37.2 degrees Celsius. Now put the digital thermometer in a clean and dry surface. Next, I will get I will be getting is the auxiliary temperature, which is in the armpit of my patient. Okay, ma'am, today I will be getting your axillary temperature. This means that I will be getting it from your armpit. Is it okay for you, ma'am? Yes. Thank you. Um, I'll open or take up the sleeves of the patient so that you can check his or her axillary area. I'll just um, up this, ma'am, okay? Check her axillary area. To avoid moisture, clean the axillary area. I'll just clean your axillary area, ma'am. Is that okay, Pa? Yes, you can. Okay. I put um, some alcohol here, Pa. It's just okay? Just down the things. Is that okay? Okay. Discard the the um, the tissue and then perform a hand hygiene after that get the digital thermometer clean it from the stem of the thermometer to its sensor okay Can you up your arm po, ma'am? Turn on the thermometer and put it on the center of the axillary area. Wait for the appropriate time. Um, and the digital thermometer indicates its completeness of reading through sounds or through tone and through light of the digital thermometer. Okay, ma'am, can I get it po? Okay, so your axillary temperature is 35.8 degrees Celsius, okay? So, turn off. And record the, clean the thermometer, the digital thermometer. And record the Auxiliary temperature. And place the thermometer in a clean and dry surface. And now I will be assessing is the peripheral pulse of my patient. Okay. We have to remember that the normal range of the peripheral pulse is 60 to 100 pulse per minute. So, if we have to count the peripheral pulse in 30 seconds, it is regular. And if irregular, irregular, it's 60 seconds. Okay. I'll be getting your peripheral pulse, ma'am. Is that okay? Yes. What I want you to do, ma'am, is just um, be relaxed and um, feel free to, um, yeah, to move anything you want. Just be relaxed. Okay. Make sure that you have a wristwatch so that you can read the counts of the um, of the number and the pulse. Make sure to use the three fingers of your hand. So here I will be getting it to um, her radial pulse because it is the appropriate way to get the pulse rate or yeah the peripheral pulse of the client. 
Okay, ma'am. Your peripheral pulse is 86. It means that your peripheral pulse is above normal. So, record the peripheral pulse of the patient. Now, for the respiration, observe the um, depth or the inhale and exhale of the patient. And inhale and exhale is equivalent to one breaths per minute okay ma'am i'm um, just be um just be relaxed ma'am just be normal and um just don't um don't be um, just be relaxed ma'am Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, the respiration of my client is um, 16. It means that um, her respiration is above normal. So, I have to remember um, 30 seconds for regular and 60 seconds for irregular. But since the since that I am still a student, we have to um, check the respiration and the peripheral pulse of the patient in a full one minute. Okay, record the respiration rate. Now, um, next what I'll be going to do is to um, perform or to get her blood pressure. So make sure to do a hand hygiene for that. Make sure that the equipments to be used are intact and there is no leaks. This is to ensure that um, the blood pressure that you will be getting in your client is appropriate. Okay. The cuffs. Check. There's no leaks. Check. Now, clean the stethoscope that you're you will gonna be used is, is to ensure the cleanliness prior to performing the procedure okay. now put the sphygma manometer on the client Make sure to put it to put this side on this side of the patient so that the 
blood pressure that you will be gonna use is appropriate. You will be gonna get is appropriate rather. Okay, just up this one, huh? Okay, so I forgot up. You have to explain the to the client the procedure that you will be getting. So, ma'am, I will be getting your um, blood pressure. Is it okay for you? Yes. Okay. Now, put the sphygmomanometer to the patient. Um, I'll just um, up, ma'am. Put the bell on the side. very much ma'am okay your blood pressure po is 90 over 60 pressure of my patient is 90 over 60 which means it is above normal write the blood pressure in the vital sign monitoring sheet we have to remember that the normal um, systolic range of a patient is 90 to 120 um, mmhg and the normal diastole range of the patient is 50 over 80 mmhg so that is all for that is all for my performance prior to obtaining a vital science. I hope that you um, learned something and thank you for watching and may God bless us. Peace.